Okay, this isn't the best angle for these dresses, but like, I don't have anywhere else in You're my house. Anxiety. Can you figure it out? I don't have anywhere else to do this at. Hey Sheridan, how come all YouTubers have anxiety problems? Because they have to look at themselves 24-7. Well, I'll watch this footage back and be like, I don't think we're gonna post that. Yeah, I'm not, we're not gonna post it. I'm not gonna post that one. Hey guys, it's Cher. Happy Valentine's Day! So today's video is going to be a belated get ready with me for Valentine's Day. I never get to celebrate Valentine's Day until after Valentine's Day because my boyfriend works all the time. Say hi, Ryan! Blame it on me, that's what I do. Which is fine with me. I love doing that because it gives me more time to buy gifts and stuff. And like, I'm always last minute with that. That's getting ready to be a funny story. So, you're getting ready to see another Get Ready With Me posted soon because I did a Get Ready With Me for Disney World. Two back-to-back -back Get Ready With Me's. I know it's a little redundant, but I'm filming it anyway. So, this year I realized I needed a dress for Valentine's Day. I went and ordered four online. Didn't think they were going to get here in time. Luckily, they did. Barely, though. Just yesterday. Like, last night. Barely. Obviously, I'm not going to get to wear them all to dinner for Valentine's Day. I'm not going to get to wear them all out. I thought I would get a little bit more use out of them and show you guys them in this video. It's been a long time since I've done a try on haul of any sort. I thought I would do a combined get ready with me for Valentine's Day and a try on dress haul. So if you want to watch me do my makeup for Valentine's Day and pick out a dress to wear then just keep watching. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this Neutrogena Radiance Boost Brightening Hydrogel Mask which I never use masks but I figured what better day to try to make your skin look a little bit better than Valentine's Day. So the packaging says it's supposed to brighten your skin, boost your skin's radiance, and smooth your skin texture. I could use all of that. So I'm going to put this mask on my face for 15 to 20 minutes and probably look like a crazy person for that whole time. I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten my hair because, well, that's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> I thought about curling it, but whenever I try to curl my hair, I kind of mess it up, so I'm just going to straighten it. So the foundation I'm using is just the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation. I've been using it forever. It's in the color Porcelain. For the concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. That's nothing new. I always use that. For my eyes, I, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do um, like a, I don't know, basically what I always do just with red colors. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. Um, I'm just using Sauced. <laughs> Sauced. Um, it's this orangey shade and I'm just building that up in my crease so that everything looks more natural. Now I'm using the color He Devil which is this red shade. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of mine. Okay, I'm going to take a break and do my eyebrows using the All May Brow Pencil in Brunette. Now I'm going to take the color Lumbre or Lumber, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm gonna say Lumbre even though it doesn't have an accent mark. And it's basically this coppery gold color. I don't really know what you call it, probably rose gold. And I'm going to put that on my lid. All right. A little bit more of a dramatic wing than usual. I promise that was on purpose. I've been using the CoverGirl Intensify Me Liquid Eyeliner for when I want to do wings or like bolder eyeliner looks. For blush, contour, and highlight, I'm just going to be using the Naked Urban K Flushed Palette. Actually, before I use the highlight that comes in this palette, I'm going to use the Becca Liquid Highlight in Opal. It's just a really subtle highlight that lays down a path for powder highlight. For my lips, I'm just going to use the Buxom Lip Polish in the color Brandy. And it's just this dark purple shimmery shade. I really, really like this lip gloss now. Like, it's genuinely the best lip gloss I've maybe ever used. Okay, so I threw on some CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara and some jewelry. <laughs> I'm going to take that He Devil color that I put in the outer corner of my eye earlier and take that along my lower lash line so that it doesn't look so one-dimensional. I'm just going to throw on some ELF setting spray and then I'll be done. Let's go try on some dresses. 
I always order a bunch of dresses at once and then justify that by saying that I'll just send whichever ones I don't like back. But then I end up liking them all, so then I end up keeping them all and spending the money. So that's exactly what happened this time. All the dresses are from Charlotte Russe and they're all the fit and flare style. I think they're called skater dresses, but also they're called fit and flare. I'm getting ready to like try to describe them and I don't even know how. Okay, so this first dress is really pretty on the top. It has this like... <laughs> I don't know, it's not lace, I'm not good at describing clothes, but it has a see-through black fabric on top with rose gold colored fabric beneath that that you can see through the lace or whatever you want to call this, through the design. And then the bottom is just black and flowy material. Very pretty, very flowy. I like it. Oh, and I'm having a background crisis too because we just got done cleaning out the basement and all of my studio stuff got moved to another room for now, so I'm working with what I got. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this one is really tight on me, barely fits, had a breakdown about it yesterday. <laughs> it's a dark maroon collared fake suede material. It has two types of sleeves, um, two spaghetti straps on the shoulders that go above your shoulders, and then it has an off the shoulder sleeve too. It's this really pretty dark maroon wine collared suede material. I know it's not real suede considering it was so cheap. Very soft, and it was comfortable when I tried it on. It has a lower neckline. The black and rose gold one was just cut straight across, but this one has a little bit more of a plungy neckline, except it's not really too plungy. It's still playing it safe, but you know, it's a little bit of a different neckline. The next one is just the one I'm wearing right now. I guess it would just be like <laughs> bright red. I don't know, it's pretty red to me. This is definitely a dress I would think of when I would think of Valentine's Day. I don't know, it just kind of screams Valentine's Day to me because of the collar and the pleated fabric. And then on the back, it has this like really cute heart design on the back, almost like a fully open back, which was very daring for me by the way to order, but I did it anyway. And yeah. And then the last dress is this crushed velvet material. It's like just what, a pink? Yeah, yeah it's just some kind of pink. <laughs> I'm not great at describing these, but yeah, some kind of pink color. Also very traditionally Valentine's Day. The three pink and red and maroon dresses are very, they scream Valentine's Day to me. There's a little bit of ruching right here on the um, like chest area or the neckline, whatever you want to call it. This one comes in a lot at the waist. This one's tight, don't judge me. They're all tight. <laughs> You're fat. <laughs> Very defined waist type of dress. I love this one too. This one is another one of my favorites. I really like this one and um, obviously I really like the red one since that's the one I chose to wear tonight. Crushed velvet, very soft, very pretty, and I like it. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Like this video if you liked watching it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Let me know down in the comments what you guys did for Valentine's Day, whether you celebrated it on Wednesday or you waited till the weekend to celebrate it. So much hair in my mouth, it's crazy. Are you serious? That's the one thing about wearing lip gloss. So much hair in your mouth. Oh my god. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna have a freak out if the hair doesn't get out of my mouth. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, it wasn't even mine! It's not a joke! Also, let me know in the comments what dress was your favorite and which one you think I should have picked even though I totally picked this one and wore it out to dinner just a little bit ago. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! LOL, looks like I'm getting ready to film a music video or something. Go! It's another vlog! <laughs> here, you stand here and adjust until I- You adjust it for me. You're dumb! Move! Oh, come get, off, get off me. Ryan, sound off. I'm about ready to sound off. <laughs>